Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's compare a store-bought Zoller M98, this came from Lowe's, from one that we get directly from the factory. And I'm really curious to see what kind of difference there is. Um, is there any difference at all? Because this is actually a really great pump, the ones that we put in. Let's go ahead and cut this open. If you go to Lowe's, you'll notice that it says contractors on here. But before I even open these up, I just have to tell you a little story. First, I do not represent uh, Zoller. They don't give me anything. I've been putting in their pumps for 30 plus years. And to me, this is probably still the best pump on the market, the M98. But let me show you something. Years ago, maybe five, six years ago, Zoller put into Lowe's this thing here. It was called the H2O Pro. This is a one third of a horsepower pump. And I still have one, but I think I bought maybe 12 of them, 11 of them, and every single one of them failed, every single one. So, you know, it just really depends on what you know about pumps and what you don't. And that's what I want to kind of explain. If you can see this pump, and Liberty's done the same thing, and I believe that they have the same problem that this H2O Pro had, which is off of the market. They don't sell this anymore. This is a magnetic float. It comes up. Can you hear that pump kick on? And it, it fails. It fails almost instantly. I think I put one in the first crawl space I put it in. Uh, within 10 days, that customer called us back and said, hey, we've got a flood. And of course, I went out and checked it. The pump's not working. So we went straight back to using the Zoller M98 because we have such good success with that. So, but anyways, that's just a little story about Zoller. Like I say, I don't get anything from Zoller. Um, I just use their pumps and I've been telling you guys about this for you know 30 years. So anyways, let's open up the pump from Lowe's. Everything looks pretty much the same as far as the package goes. These pumps are pretty heavy. They weigh about 35 pounds inside the box. You've seen me do this before. Inside the box, you've got the warranty card, um, everything that you need to do to register your pump, register your pump online so that if it does fail, you know, it's got a three-year warranty on it. And um, it says it right on here. three-year warranty and you know I have replaced these pumps they do some of them go bad uh, for example this one right here you can see it I just replaced it impeller was stuck it really is in good shape still um, but there was a piece of wood that got stuck up in that impeller and it didn't pump so they wanted a new pump we got them a new pump it's that simple um, it has a three-year warranty no questions asked so anyways let's take a look I see the model plate it looks good Got the port, that looks good. Let's open this guy up. This came directly from the factory. And again, these things are heavy, so bear with me for just a second. Okay, notice the packaging. Okay, notice the packaging's different right away. This one is from, from Lowe's. This is what they're selling as a contractor's pump, half horsepower M98. This is what I order. They come you know, directly from the factory when I order for us. And it is a little different. The box is different size. Um, it's, Everything says the same. And this one says cast iron. This one says high capacity, th you know, three-year warranty, factory tested. Boxes look a little, this, a little bit the same, but this one is bigger. Let's keep on going. So this is from the factory itself. This is where I order them from. And I can see the difference right away. Ooh, we got thunder. Thank you. 
Inside the box, there's a warranty card. You see that? Same thing. The big difference I see right away The big difference I see right away is the switch cap. This is plastic. This one's cast iron. And I think I did get a notice from uh, my supplier that said they're switching over to thermal plastic on the head. So we'll put this one in, the, in a sump basin here real soon and find out how well it works. But we'll have to wait a few years to see if it goes bad. But um, everything looks pretty much the same. There's a different cap here on the top that holds this switch connection in place this one here this is our our go-to pump it is definitely the pump of my choice and I hope that they continue to send out these total cast iron pumps um, it does have a plastic base now where it used to have a cast iron base but this one this one's cast iron on the side but that's plastic and we're gonna find out you know how well these pumps hold up over the years remember Zoller put these pumps this was the h2o pro it's a third of a horsepower they put these they also had half horsepowers they put these in lows and they sold like hotcakes but they no longer put them in lows <laughs> because they found out that they this switch it didn't work you know by the way this was, this came out of an old job um, I just went ahead and replaced all of the all of these pumps that I put in, I went back and put in the good Zoller M98 because I was afraid that, you know, for whatever reason, these would go bad. So I just replaced it. This one's uh, about six years old. It's just been sitting out here in the yard and it still kicks on. But of course we wouldn't put that in somebody's uh, sump pit. We wouldn't do that. But yeah, everything looks pretty much the same, you know, as far as they go. But this was, their, this was from Lowe's and it's a little different. Remember that came with the contractors, it says contractor on it. Can you see that? It says contractor up on the box. And again, they're marketing, but it's not the same as the regular Zoller M98 that I've been getting. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, a quick note about live help. We're gonna start the group live help again coming up on Saturday morning, 10 a.m. It's in Zoom. You need to look at the description box below, follow that link, and we'll get you into the Zoom chat. It's a video chat. What's really great about this chat is that you can learn from watching other people as I help another person with that problem. You're gonna probably see that similar problem in your own yard. So you learn from all of the people and it's a great video chat. We did this for what, four or five weeks back when the pandemic started and everybody was kind of locked down. We're slowing down enough that I can do this on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, 10 a.m., tune in.